All right, everybody, welcome back to Greedfall. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, please go ahead and hit that like button. Um, we are out looking for our cousin. Now, I'm kind of confused. I don't know if this is a... Okay, so we don't, we don't want to do... Science. Okay, so I don't think that we want to do those, but I don't want to do it in the wrong order because I know that we're getting to the point where we're starting to fail quests because we it's been too long. Ooh. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go. What? How did you guys see me from there? saw me even though they're in the middle of a field. So much loot. Oh wait, it's not camp here? Amongst all the dead people? Colonials? You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? Desarde. I am legate of the congregation of merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. Why what can I do for you, you sir? I'm looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rat hole? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. 
The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me? I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? Sure. I can see how difficult your present situation has become. I'm certain you haven't been paid either for quite some time. I cannot solve all of your problems, but what would you say if I took care of that one, at least? A little gold would certainly improve the morale of my men. <sighs> one of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just refusing to die. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. Uh, the emotions, they just flip flop so much. In the, completely, hang on. The crafting table. What are you doing there? This is an infirmary! I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier... No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Is so where you have to make a sovereign potion that's in? It would be very odd if we could go somewhere to buy something. It just might be night nice sugars. Done. It. Were you able to concoct the potion against burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Uh, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Okay, and now we have to wait. Is there anything else to do in here? Uh, what's the 
Fucking table of the contracts. You know, I don't know if I've ever done a contract. Wait, is there nowhere to rest here? That's not that far. I guess we'll just run down here, sleep. It is kind of odd to me that you have to do this, though. So, I mean, I, I don't mean to harp on it, but it's like... This is unnecessary. There's so many times where... You know, it's like once you get all the ingredients, like when we did with Sior's uh, mother's burial ritual, we got all the stuff that we needed, and it asks, do you want to go there now? So, how hard would it be for them just to be like, do you want to wait 24 hours? Yes or no? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It, it just seems, seems weird. It just seems kind of like out of place that we have to run down here to the camp, wait 24 plus hours, and then come back. But, you know, it's not we don't get to travel back instantly, we have to run back. It, <clears throat> it just seems like one of the things I think the game could polish and make a little bit better. Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days when we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming in our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the Coin Guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantine Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded, and I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching me. Rebels. I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. And you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes, it's best I leave now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. Hmm. So it definitely sounds like Catasatch was not being bad, but <clears throat> maybe another faction that we haven't met yet? Excellency, 
I was told that you saved my soldier. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please. I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes. I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were already nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good man, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. Question dare. Who? This is not too far. We're just gonna run back to the camp again. I do really like this road. I don't think I've seen another one in it I like it so far. Travel here, that one. So, this is actually the place that we freed the scholars from. Drop something. Hello. Renaigse, there you are again. What do you want? To speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. I know that you see us as your enemies, but we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who is protecting him. Katisach, one of your greatest Donegada. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasach, and Avorst, Tire, he died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. 
We went to sea. But we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there. And many of the Renaigse were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaigse? Examine him to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body, you will pay for this offense with your life. Hmm. Is it? It's not here, is it? Why do they have this if you can't? Katasak. Seeing the state of his body. Holy cow. I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Denegad. To have doubted your loyalty and even more for what we are about to do. Now then. Let's see what story this corpse has to tell. The corpse retains the marks of a bludgeoning. There are large bruises all over it. I can see no wounds that could be attributed to a blade or a musket shot. The major wound is found on the chest, which was crushed by something tremendous, to the degree that the skin was torn. The ribs are in pieces and the organs punctured. The edges of the wound are singed and smell of burnt flesh. There is a powdery spot on this wound, as if from ash or dusty gravel. Katasak bore the brunt of this attack or incredible force. I would venture to say it was inhuman. I can only imagine one thing that could have inflicted such a wound. It's as if an enormous burning stone hit him right in the center of the chest. And seeing as how the bodies of the soldiers we found were sporting wounds of a similar nature, we can deduce that we're on the tracks of a man, or a creature, capable of using molten rock as a weapon. I can't imagine an Adaig behaving like this. It is not their way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned or angered by what happened to Katasach? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives. Your relentless attacks and incessant mm. treacheries. All the same, there is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. 
That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help, then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tierna Hach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tierna Hach Kadachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. Okay. Alright, so we're It's still so weird when I did that. Yeah, this still has such big issues right there. Don't know why. Hello, Mev. Renoixe, why have you come here again? I've come to ask you for help. My help? You still seek the remedy for the sickness on your island? Or are you looking for something else? My cousin has been taken, and I've been told that you could help me. Truly? And in what way? By performing the Anatalis Fair on the body of Katasach, the Donegad. Katasach is dead. Under Vosh Dere. This is a great tragedy. He was a good man. Perhaps the best of us all. How did this happen? He went with my cousin to a sacred site when they were attacked. My cousin has disappeared, taken, according to a witness. And Katasak suffered terrible wounds. We examined him, and it seemed as if he had been struck by molten rock. Fire of the earth? Only the Nadaig Maneman have the power to wield it. But none of our own would have attacked Katasak. This is why we need your help. We want to understand and to find who's responsible. And you will avenge the dead, as you have avenged my wound in the past. Very well, Renoixi. I will help you. And I also wish to gain understanding. Our island wails in suffering. Many Sinol Minawi have died. The Anatalas Fair may kill me, but at least I will know. You will need to act as my Voglendaig, and bring to me the necessary ingredients while I prepare. What do you require? A potion, and listen and remember, or write in your language what I shall tell you. Do not forget, the viscera of the scavengers must be taken from a place near the battlefield, because they contain the flesh of those who fell. As for the personal object of Katasach, find his weapon, because it knew his fury and his despair. He didn't have a weapon when I found his body. I'll search the battlefield. Where can I find him? In Duren's camp. She recovered him after the battle. Very well. Not far from there is a sacred circle. You'll find me there when you have united all that I need. Then we can perform the ritual when the moon is high. I'll go and get the ingredients you require and I'll find you there when the moment has come. Safe travels. 
All right, looks like we got a bunch of gathering to do. So, all right, everybody, we're going to have to end the episode here, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. I sure am. Um, I do enjoy this game quite a lot. It's a, it's a good RPG. It's a, got a lot of good points to it, so. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but so hopefully if you guys are enjoying, uh, please go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the bell icon so you know when the next episode comes up. And then uh, definitely subscribe if you can. It helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. All right, everybody, we will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.